Hello, this is Felicia from FeliciaHelpsYou.com. Welcome to a teaching that I'm beginning, the beginning of 2009. It's a wonderful time in this day and age to be able to move forward. It's such a blessing, and we have so many things to be grateful for and so many things to be thankful for in this new year. And it really depends on what you're focused on, where your focus is. There's so many things to be grateful for as a nation, as a, living in America during this time and age. And though there are many things going on on the news and in the newspapers, we can use our minds to focus on the positive things in life. And if nothing else, you're listening to a tape that can change your life, that has the potential to change your life and move you from one status to another in a positive way. Because today I'm teaching on how to deal with rejection. And a rejection is a feeling that we've all had before. Whether you're man, woman, child, or an adult, we've all experienced a sense of rejection. I remember even when I was young, in kindergarten, I remember a group of girls sitting in a closet. And they were all bunched in there, so I don't know why I wanted to go in there with them, but I was standing at the door of the closet, and they said, you can't come in here. And I was thinking, why can't I go in the closet with these other five girls? And they told me I couldn't come, and it was very small. They were all compressed inside the closet, and I wanted to go in, but they told me I couldn't go. So I had to go back and sit, in, sit at my desk, and I remember looking over at the closet, wanting to be with them, not knowing why I couldn't be with them in the closet. So it's a feeling we all ha we all had, and sometimes it, it involves relationships, whether you're dating or in marriage. In dating, maybe somebody... We hear a lot of stories of people seeing other people are cheating or leaving the marriage for other people. And it's a sense of rejection for the other person involved because they feel like they're not good enough. They feel like they're unworthy. And so it's an awful feeling. The dictionary, the American Heritage, defines it as to throw out or discard. That's how it defines rejection. So we feel worthless almost to a sense that it causes an emotional strain. And this isn't something that we can ignore. It isn't something we should just push aside because it needs to be dealt with because it can have detrimental consequences. If you if you recently read the news in uh, near the United States, because I don't know where you're listening to this tape, but there was a situation where a gentleman was divorcing from his wife and was going through court proceedings, and they were given a, 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 a divorce, and the problem was he felt rejected after that. So he dressed in a Santa Claus suit. I'm not sure if it was Christmas. Sample complete. Ready to continue?